Welcome everyone to another dose of Digital Soma. And I just wanted to talk today about um, the different types of online content and mods available for OpenTTD. Uh, I saw a couple of questions on Reddit that uh, that show me that some people are uh, confused about the different options that are available for OpenTTD. So to get started, uh, we click on the check online content button. And if you go over here up to type, you can sort by type. And here we can see there's AI, there's uh, AI libraries, base graphics, base music, base sounds, and game scripts, the game script libraries, height maps, and then finally new GURFs, and after new GURFs are the scenarios. And so I'm just going to go through and uh, download a few of each and then just show you where each are in the game options and how to enable them for your game. So we'll start with AI. Uh, Admiral AI uh, is one I've used previously. I don't really play with AI much anymore. Um, Clueless is generally a good one. Uh, no cab, I think I've used in the past. Paxlink. Dictator AI I've used in the past too. Um, so there's AI. And then once you select an AI, it'll automatically select any AI libraries that it is dependent upon. Um, base graphics will download ZBase. Base music will download uh, Modern Motion. And then Base sounds, there's only one. Game script will do, uh, let's see. We'll do neighbors are important. That one's a fun one. And again, same thing with AIs. Uh, when you click a game script, it'll automatically select any game script libraries that are that it's dependent upon. Um, we'll do a height map, just California, sure, why not? And we'll do We'll skip new GURFs because I already covered that in another tutorial video. So we'll go down to scenarios and we'll do, uh, we'll just do Alpine. And click download, we'll wait for that to download. Uh, I'll probably just cut to the end so you don't have to wait for it. Okay, and once everything is downloaded, you just press okay. It'll go back to the main menu and then um, so scenarios are in the play scenario and then these are all your downloaded scenarios here and then you can see you can navigate to the height map menu um, but since there's no scenarios in there uh, they won't pop up and then to play a height map you click on the play hat might but height map button and there we can see California and the difference between scenarios and height maps are that height maps are just the terrain. There's no cities or industries actually placed in the map. They'll be randomly generated. But with a scenario, there can be uh, there can be infrastructure, there can be cities, there's uh, factories placed, um, and you can act if you have a save game, you can actually change it into a scenario just by changing the extension, um, which is a good way to like uh give make a challenge scenario so like turn this unprofitable com company around if you build a save game up that way you can turn it into a fun scenario uh through the scenario editor actually um didn't mean to click on that just abandon to go back to the main menu and then for ais and game scripts uh right above the check online content button there's the ai game script settings uh top left there's two era uh, two arrows pressing the right arrow increases the max number of competitors and then if you click on one of the yellow text uh, you can select the AI uh, down here and you can see there's the three AIs we downloaded you just click on uh, their name you hit accept and now you can and now that will be the first AI to appear in the game and then same thing you can either um, click on the name and go to select AI or you can just double click on the name and the menu will pop up and double click on the name to select it. 
and then to select a game script, same thing, you can go down to the game script option, you can uh, press the select game script button and click and click accept, or you can double click the name and double click the game script to accept. And then in the AI and game script menu, there's no confirm button um, or uh, or like apply changes. So you just, after you make the changes, you just press close and they'll be activated in the game. And to uh, change the base graphics and the base sound effects, you go into the game options menu. And this is also where if you download a town names new group, um, they'll be in the game options as well in this town names uh, drop down menu. Uh, we don't have one activated right now. Uh, so base graphics set, we downloaded Z-Base, so we'll go ahead and click that. Uh, we didn't download a sound effects because there's only one option. And we downloaded modern motion. Um, and again, there's no apply button or anything, so you just close the window and it'll automatically reply. Uh, it'll automatically apply. Um, it had to exit since we changed the graphics it had to restart a little bit and now we are using the uh, Now we're using the Z base graphics uh, So to go back you just do the same thing just go into the game menu Game options menu and change the selection again and it will, will revert back to using the default open GFX and that is a brief tour and hopefully a helpful explanation on the different mod options for OpenTTD. And uh, if you have any more questions, just uh, if you have any more questions, just reply in the comments and I'll be sure to answer any questions you have. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you found this helpful. Bye bye.